Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my Sephora VIB sale recommendations and things that I am planning on purchasing. We all love a good sale, especially a makeup sale, a beauty sale. Like who doesn't love a good discount? So I'm quickly going to do the rundown on the dates and the discount so that you guys can have all that good good. Um, so the spring savings event starts on April 17th um, for the VIB Rouges till May 1st. Um, so then after that, the VIB sale for them starts the 21st of April and then it ends on April 29th. For insiders, so sale starts April 23rd through the 27th. So that's the shortest tier that gets the sale, but they get 10% off. Um, VIBs get 15% off and then the Rouges get 20% off and with this sale you can use it unlimited times i know sometimes sephora does only have it for like a one-time use but for this spring sale you can use it as many times as you want this is online obviously because we aren't able to shop in any stores right now and sephora is closed so you can do all your shopping in the comfort of your home so this year i really sat down with my thoughts and I was able to come up with a little bit of a guide for you guys. Um, and I really put into consideration kind of where we stand right now in time and what we are all kind of wanting to invest our money. And I know that right now money can be tight. A lot of people don't have jobs. So I'm not really prioritizing makeup as much as I would at any other time. I'm more so prioritizing things that will help better your skin and make you feel a little bit more relaxed. So the first thing I want to start off with is like masks and all that. I know a lot of people constantly ask me like, what masks do you recommend? And to be honest, my favorite ones from Sephora are the ones by Sephora collection, which are the most affordable ones in Sephora. I've tried other ones, but for me personally, with my rosacea skin, very sensitive skin, I would definitely tread lightly on other masks and I would really kind of go more towards the Sephora collection. They're like $5 or so, I want to say. Um, so they're very affordable and they just leave the skin feeling so good and looking really great. And the cool thing about the Sephora masks is that they have one for every type of need, whether it's brightening, whether it's soothing, whether it's um, giving you more radiance like they just offer masks for everybody so for collection also does have the mask that you can apply onto your face um, and those are also really good my favorite one is the oatmeal one because it does help a lot with my irritation on my rosacea it helps soothe it um, and I feel like for me personally that's kind of something that I really look into is finding products that really make my skin feel good once I remove them they're also very effective and very very sensitive skin friendly. So I definitely recommend that one. Another thing that I would recommend along with the face mask, especially the sheet mask is a face roller. So Sephora collection does have one and there's another one that they have. I don't know if it's still available, but it's 10 bucks and it comes with the face roller. And I think another extra tool and it's for $10. So I would say when you're doing your sheet mask, before you do the sheet mask, put your um, face roller into the fridge, let it like sit there for like five minutes, let it get really cold. And then you can massage your face and roll your face while you have the mask on to really make sure that the product that's on the mask really sinks into your skin. Um, and I feel like that's one of those things that really helps get that product in there and really helps the product do its job. I wanna move on to the Tatcha mask. So this is the Radiance Violet C mask and I love this mask. It is really good. I use quite a lot of this mask. As you guys can see, it never once irritated my skin. I feel like it always left my skin looking super radiant and really like brightened up for the day. So when I like to use this the most is in the morning, like an early morning before I want to start like the day. Um, typically I would wear this like before a special occasion where I would be doing like a full face of makeup and I wanted my skin just to look so perfected. Um, also you can do this at night if you want to like really let it sit in your skin and then have nothing on the face and then the next day your skin is just going to be glowing and so radiant. It also has that vitamin C which helps kind of firm your skin and nourish it and with the anti-aging that's the best. So if you've been looking into any Tatcha product I think this is the perfect chance to kind of treat yourself because you are getting a discount and there's not going to be another time anytime soon that you're going to get a discount. Another Tatcha product that I really have been loving, you guys have seen me use a lot lately, is the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. This stuff is so good. I'm going through it and I'm like, 
oh god i'm gonna have to buy another one but it is so nice especially if you suffer from really dry like skin you are going to just love this it is a thicker consistency so when you apply this on the skin it's gonna melt right in and you're gonna see that like gorgeous dewiness come through on your skin i have mentioned time after time lately that i've been suffering from really dry rosacea cheeks so that's really kind of where i put it so i find that whenever i need to have that perfected base or my skin really needs that nourishment it provides such a good finish um and one thing i can say about this though is that it does have a little bit of a scent in there but it's never once irritated me um having my sensitive skin so i definitely appreciate that but i know some people they just can't do fragrance i actually have one more that i need to go grab hold on i actually brought some other products so um if you guys do not like anything that has fragrance or scented heavily then maybe this one isn't for you but if you don't mind that it doesn't disturb your skin you need to check this out for dry skin because it is amazing like i'm showing you guys i've been using this non-stop if you do have sensitivity to fragrance and don't even want to go there one that i've been loving that i purchased um, in the past few months was the milk vegan face moisturizer this one is so rich in consistency and i feel like it does such a good job of hydrating your skin if you do have certain areas that are really dry um this is excellent and it has no scent in there it literally like nothing so if you're more into that then you may want to check this out like i mentioned it is vegan and they do have a smaller size I think they also have a bunch of smaller sizes for Tatcha products, like really tiny sizes. Um, and they're like 20 bucks or so, which is still a lot of money. But um, if you want to go with that first and then invest in these, then maybe you do that. Skin that like really needs hydration. These are great moisturizers for that. And I highly, highly recommend them. So now I want to quickly touch on another moisturizer. If you do have very oily skin and are looking to kind of control your oils, this is the Ultra Repair Oil Control Moisturizer. This is what I'm using right now underneath my makeup. So what I did here is I used the Dewy Tatcha one on my cheek area because that's where I get dry. And then on my T-zone, I use this and it absorbs the oils perfectly. It's also that really nice hydrating jelly consistency. So even though you may think, oh, is that going to dry my skin? Is it going to like make my skin separate? No, it like goes on like water melts right into your skin. But while it's doing that, it does a good job of really making sure that it completely reduces that oil it's like mad like i love this stuff i have a review on this so i will link it down below now i need to give a shout out to these night creams guys this is the perfect time to like really indulge in like your night creams because i'm telling you every time that i forget to put my night creams on the next day my skin just feels completely different than it does when i wear night cream night cream has changed my life this is like my favorite combination ever so i use the first aid beauty ultra repair cream um this is the ultra firm sleeping cream version this stuff is phenomenal it hydrates my skin it leaves my skin looking so plump and beautiful the next day this is very very sensitive friendly um and then this one i mentioned this before in my rosacea video but this is the a cosmetics confidence in your beauty sleep and this is pure magic so what i do with these is i apply firm sleep cream by first aid beauty on my cheek area and then i apply this a cosmetics one all on the rest of my face sometimes i mix them together i would say that the one by a cosmetics is a little bit more hydrating if you guys can see like it just really does a good job of like feeling rich in consistency but once you apply it it like melts into your skin like water and it just recharges the skin um the one by first day beauty is a little bit more creamy so i feel like it lays on the skin for a minute and then it once it sinks in it does its magic this one sinks in immediately so i definitely recommend these um, because they really are amazing okay so i want to talk about some fragrances before i move on to the makeup um so these two are ones that i recommend these these are from Mason Margiela and they're the replica perfumes. If you guys have heard of these or have seen them, they're extremely expensive, like the full bottles. Um, these, I like to get them in travel size because one, they're cheaper. They're like $29, $30 compared to like $150 or $120. That, that's a big jump. So I like to get the travel versions, but if there's a time to splurge on a good perfume and like the full bottle of it, it would be on these Mason Margiela replica perfumes because they're so good um the one that i love the most is lazy sunday morning like oh my god that is such a beautiful smell like it just oh god it just like makes me feel so cozy inside it's called lazy sunday morning 
and I like to wear this one actually on Sunday. It's super fresh, but like warm. Like, I don't know how to describe that. It's just such a good smell. And then this other one, I recently purchased this one, but I fell in love immediately. This is um, springtime in a park. And it literally smells like roses and just like all things spring. So I would recommend looking into Mace Margiela perfumes. They have such a big range and I know you can't smell them, but you can always look at the notes for them and see like the different types of scents that you may like. If they're woody, if they're fresh, if they're floral, like you can get all that information on there. Now I want to move on to makeup. Now I don't really have that many makeup products because I feel like I was looking through my other videos and I feel like I kind of repeated some of the same products. So I'm keeping it really short for the makeup. And I feel like a lot of us don't really care to buy makeup right now. Um, it's not like at the top of our priorities to like be testing out new makeup. I know for me, I'm going to be mainly purchasing things that I need to like repurchase, which I'll share with you guys in a second. But I do want to touch on like a few little things that I think are golden gems right now. So the first one is the Amrezi palette. If you don't have this palette yet, you definitely should check it out. I'm actually wearing this on my eyes right now and I have some tutorials on this palette if you wanna look at that first. But I just feel like this is such a beautiful palette. It is so big, especially if you're kind of like more into like that girly vibe. Like you really get a good diverse range in here. You get some pops of color, you get your beautiful browns that are perfect for like the crease and like warming up the eyes. And you can really like do so many beautiful things in here. Like I mentioned, like this eye look probably doesn't look like something you could create out of this palette, but this is full blown Amrezi moment right here. Amazing. Another group of palettes that I would recommend are the Huda Beauty Pastel Palettes. They're so beautiful. I have the one in mint and I'm a big, big fan of Huda Beauty small palettes. I actually own a lot of them. I wanna purchase the other two of these as well, the pink one and the lavender one. So I may purchase that in my um, Sephora purchase, but I'm not 1000% sure yet because I do have other things I kind of prioritize besides makeup. Um, but I think that if you can pick up one of these, they're amazing. They're just so fun to get out of your comfort zone. I think they're like the perfect colors for springtime and even summer. You can see, like you can create some amazing looks with these little palettes. So I definitely recommend these. Another set of products that I really recommend are benefits cheek palettes so you can go two different routes you can go for like a big palette or you can go for a smaller palette um let me show you guys a big one this one actually just came out the cheek star reunion palette it's 60 bucks but i mean you get all this so if you're on the hunt for like bronzers blushes and a highlighter you're not going to want to miss this and this brush i haven't used it but it feels very very soft it's a really nice brush to like kind of contour the cheek because it kind of goes at an angle, kind of reminds me of the NARS, um, what was it, that contour brush that everybody loved? It kind of reminds me of that consistency and the brush is so soft, but I've been using this palette nonstop. The blush is amazing for my complexion. You can buy these as singles as well, but I think you get your money's worth if you just get the full palette because you're getting all of these for 60 bucks. I'm pretty sure one of these is like 30 bucks. If you're on a budget and don't want to spend as much and want something a little bit more compact and portable, the little ones, the mini bronze palettes are amazing. You get highlighter, bronzer, and a blush. So you like really get a whole lot of product in here. And I think that for the price, it's really good. And out of everything in Sephora that is like blushes and all that, like you can get a blush but a blush is gonna be like 30 plus dollars as opposed to just getting a full blown palette for this deal. I think it's a really, really good deal. Um, I'm Like I mentioned, I'm not a big fan of buying complexion products from Sephora brands because I feel like the brands at Sephora are super expensive when I know that the blushes that are the best for me, in my opinion, are at the drugstores. Like don't sleep on drugstore blushes or bronzers because they're bomb. But if you had to pick something that had everything in one, I would recommend the Benefits face palettes because they are so good. I do want to talk about um, Artist Couture. So Artist Couture has these glosses that they came out with. They've been out for a while. They have glosses and then they have highlighters. And I know that recently they came out with the lipsticks and the palette, which we're about to get into that. But if there's any lip products that I recommend from Sephora, it's the Artist Couture glosses. They are amazing. They're so pigmented. These are my favorite ones. Um, Uncensored 2.0 is like by far one of the most beautiful shades for your lips. And I love that little minty scent that it comes with. Like it's just phenomenal. 
It is such a pigmented gloss. It reminds me a lot of the Anastasia Beverly Hills glosses. If you guys have tried that and are looking for something to compare it to, very comparable. They're not sticky whatsoever. They're very pigmented. When you put them on the lips, they're gonna stay on the lips for a long time. Obviously, unless you like wipe your lips, they'll stay there. And even like by the end of the day, if you've eaten and done like a bunch of stuff, they still kind of keep their pigment, even if they're not as glossy as they once were. I love this one, which is in Shameless. And this one is more so of a color that's closer to the color of my lip. So I just feel like that one, you guys can see, looks phenomenal. Now the last gloss that I want to talk about, but I don't have it here because it's in my purse downstairs, is the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb in the Glass Slipper. It's the clear one, completely clear so beautiful definitely recommend that right now for the sale because if you think about it when i think of like spring summer looks i think of mascara some bb cream and that gloss and girl you're gonna be snatched girl or boy you guys are gonna be snatched i've always felt like with the fenty beauty lip glosses what i love the most about them is that they're more so suited for that person that's just an everyday gloss wearer that wants something more natural that wants something that's going to give them the glossy finish but through the day it's going to also hydrate their lips whenever i take that gloss off my lips are so smooth and soft because i feel like while it's looking cute on the face it's also hydrating the lips okay so now i want to go over some things that are in my cart that i'm going to be purchasing for sure um, so let's see what we have here. I have two products that I'm repurchasing that I always repurchase. So the first one is my Benefit Precisely My Brow. I get my Benefit Precisely My Brow in shade five. You guys are always asking me what I use to fill in my brows. A week ago, I broke it and I was very pissed because I was like, okay, it's okay. I'll just like, you know, twist it and I'll get more. And there was nothing left. I was like, oh wow, $24. I don't want to purchase right now. Luckily the sale's about to come. So I'm just waiting on it. But right now I've just been using my Koki Cosmetics one. And I've also actually been using my Benefit Cabrow to like fill in the sparseness of my brows. Cause for some reason my brow hair is kind of like falling out. I don't know what's going on. So I just kind of been using that to fill in, but I'm pretty much shade number five for both of them. But never sleep on Precise in My Brow. It is such a good brow pencil. Yes, it's $24, but I think it's worth it. Then I have Artist Couture lipsticks. So I have seen these two that I'm just obsessed with, and I really want them because I saw Angel talk of Angel's, the founder of Artist Couture. He was talking about this combination, and I was like, and I know how good the glosses are that I'm like, I bet these lipsticks are phenomenal because he doesn't play. So the first one is Angel Baby, which is a very like nude color which he used mainly for like the center of the lips. And then the one that I'm really excited for is the Saucy Gal. So Saucy Gal all over and then Angel Baby in the middle and apparently creates like that perfect, like well-rounded nude. So I have those two and those retail for $18 each. So I think this is the perfect time to buy them. So I already have my cart ready. Because that sale hits, I'm literally just pressing checkout. Um, the next product that I have, okay. So before we move on to the next product. so. I am so on the fence about that Artist Couture palette. I know that I have so many of those shades in my collection already because I'm looking at my collection. I'm like, girl, come on. But I just keep seeing so many beautiful looks and I'm like having major FOMO because I feel like I'm missing out on this gem. So I need you guys to tell me if you guys have purchased the new Artist Couture palette, do you like it? No, yes, like I need to know. So the next product is another product that I'm repurchasing that I have always repurchased because I just cannot live without this product. This is the Caudalie Grape Water Spray and it's $18. And the reason I love this is because it hydrates my skin like no other. It's super sensitive friendly, never had any issues with it. So what I do is after I'm done like washing my face in the morning, I go in, I spray the spray, cause it's like an air, aerosol can. So I just spray my face all over, let that sink into my skin for like five minutes. And then I apply my moisturizer and it makes such a difference. It helps kind of bring moisture back into my face after applying that face cleanser because sometimes face cleanser can really dry out your skin or just like dry out the face because you like make it squeaky clean. So I feel like that just rehydrates it. Grape water is really soothing for irritated skin. So that's another thing that I really love about it. And I think the price isn't that bad. $18 for that 6.7 ounce bottle is not bad at all. I pretty much purchase it. I want to say every six months because I'm pretty sure there's two sales a year. So every time it's about to be the sale again, that's really when I repurchase it. And then another product that I am planning on purchasing that I've never tried that I want to get the Beauty Blender Concealer. So it's the Bounce Airbrush 
liquid whip concealer. I've heard really good things about this. It's supposed to be a full coverage concealer that is very hydrating. Um, so we'll have to test it out. And I also want to purchase it because I want to do another Latina owned makeup tutorial. Right now, I think I got matched to the medium neutral shade. So hopefully that one works. I know you guys are probably wondering for foundations. Honestly, guys, to be completely honest with you guys, right now the foundations that are the most appealing to me are drugstore brands. I do have a video recommending my favorite drugstore foundations. I just feel like drugstore is where it's at with foundations right now. So that's where I'm going to leave it at. But that pretty much sums up all the products that I recommend for the Sephora sale. I hope you guys are watching this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. It lets me know to continue doing these types of videos. And guess what? Maybe I'll do a haul of what I get. I mean, you guys pretty much know what I'm about to get, but if I add any other gems, you guys may see some other fun stuff. If you're new to my channel, hi, welcome. My name is Jessica. I hope that you guys enjoyed my video enough to stick around and become a member of me here on YouTube because I wouldn't want you guys to miss my videos for the world. So hit that subscribe button down below. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell because that notification bell will make sure that you never miss one of these fun videos. So that being said, I love you guys so much. Hope you're staying safe at home and I'll be seeing you guys very, very soon for a brand new video. Bye guys.